my dear friends. I wish this beautiful April day could cheer you up a little bit. This is Unha. Nothing like your usual North Korean propaganda host. She speaks fluent English and presents herself as a modern North Korean woman living in the capital, Pyongyang. What's the interesting topic for girls? I think it's clothes. With her videos, she claims she wants to show what life is really like in the DPRK. And she disputes reporting from the West about her country, considered one of the most secretive and repressive in the world. Recently, a Western media uh, reported about if DPRK's economy, so I'm here today to check it out. So far, the videos are racking up just several thousand views on YouTube, but some appear to have circulated more widely on Weibo, China's popular social network. The accounts that are uploading her content are known for sharing other propaganda material glorifying the DPRK. Experts have linked these accounts to Sogwang, a North Korean state-run media outlet, and believe they are monitored by the regime. Just the fact that she can go around Pyongyang with a video camera and interview people means that there is some sort of official level of acceptance and clearance for this because it's not the kind of place where you could just go and do that. Un-A is breaking new ground in a country where most people do not have access to the internet. Rulers, including the current leader Kim Jong-un, have long relied on a handful of state-run TV and radio stations to spread their propaganda, both at home and abroad. If we look at the way that North Korea tries to speak to the rest of the world, tries to promote its image, its media is really stuck in the 1980s and the 1990s. Usually uh, the videos are the same kind of propaganda content that goes out domestically, uh, a lot of recordings from state television, uh, and you know some other recordings glorifying the North Korean system or glorifying uh, the Kim family. So for it to jump from that to this type of YouTube social media stuff was, was really noticeable. Un A has released over a dozen videos so far, experimenting with different graphics and titles. No missile tests, no over-the-top military parades. Instead, she portrays aspects of her personal life, fashion or culture. Hi, I'm in a farm today, and this is so exciting to be out here in fresh air. She covers a lot of cultural material, not as heavily propaganda-focused. Um, but, of course, because it is North Korea, because everything is monitored, there is still propaganda in there. We can't forget that. The videos are also notable for what they leave out. In this recording, an entire building in the background is blurred out. In a different video, supermarket prices are hidden. And here, the blurring appears to be used to hide people's shoes possibly to obscure foreign brands, which are officially not allowed in North Korea. The North Korean government is very sensitive about that type of information, because if we can, we can see commodity prices, we can know about say, the impact of sanctions. And then they're also blurring out things like construction projects, which North Koreans are also really sensitive about. They don't want us to really be able to track that type of thing, because again, it's an economic indicator. Good day to you, my friends. DPRK stays as clean and unaffected as ever. Most recently, Una switched her focus to promote North Korea's self-proclaimed success in containing the coronavirus outbreak. North Korea has insisted it's one of the few countries in the world with zero COVID-19 cases, which many experts doubt, partly due to the country's trade ties with China. In another video, Una pays a visit to a local supermarket to dispute claims that panic buying was happening in Pyongyang and that prices were rising due to the pandemic. They probably didn't just make an entire supermarket just to do this video. But what we'd be seeing is we'd be seeing uh, what life is like in North Korea for, for the rich people, for the lucky people, for the people that live in Pyongyang, for the people that have food. Outside the capital, which is generally reserved to the elites, life is very different. Many North Koreans live in extreme poverty. In 2019, the UN warned that 40% of the population was in need of food aid, 
as the country scrambled to deal with its worst harvest in a decade. Over the years, tens of thousands of people have fled the authoritarian state because of famine and human rights abuses, most of them to Russia, China and South Korea, and some of them to Europe. Last year, is, uh, I, know, I knew one journalist and uh, he went to the North Korea and he went to the, my hometown in Chongjin. So he took the pictures from me, it's a gift to me. When I saw the picture, I cried because it never changed my hometown. But uh, in our outside country, people always see that it's a Pyongyang area. So many people think about that. Oh, North Korea is a really beautiful country. People wearing the same our clothes and the people's happy life. But that is fake. In the past, North Korea appeared somewhat less concerned with combating its negative reputation elsewhere in the world. But experts say that's changing, driven by the weight of economic sanctions imposed by world powers to punish the regime's nuclear activities and human rights violations. They're feeling the burden of sanctions, they're feeling the burden of international pressure at the United Nations. Um, th they are feeling it, and especially with um, the elite having access to the internet, they're, they're able to see um, how their image is abroad. Um, I'm sure it's um, something that they're very unhappy with. And so perhaps this is their way of trying to seem uh, better. Un A's videos could be a first attempt at rebranding, but it's unclear how much North Korea will invest in such media initiatives in the future. They could just be dipping their toes in the water. They could just be trying to figure out, look, is there an audience for this stuff? What's the reaction like? I think if North Korea wants to change its image overseas, though, uh, you know, it needs to realize, and maybe some people do realize they can't do anything, but it needs to realize that people overseas don't buy the propaganda and they don't want to see it.